Okay, first I will help you with. The okay, first I will help you with the complete revision. Complete revision. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Uh, I uh, want. I want uh, you to, you to explain, explain what do you understand, understand by different, different state, state of body? body. Uh, Sanket, uh, can you tell me this? Yeah, sir. Yeah. What yeah. do you understand, what you understand by, by different, different state of, of an object? An object. Yeah, sir. So state there of are a body. Yes, sir. There are two types of states of body. Yeah. The first one is um, rest, and the second one is motion. So, um, uh, rest is like when an object is maintaining its position; it's not changing. Uh, it's not like um, increasing speed, or it's not uh, moving. All right. All right. And um, motion is when like an object is moving. At uh, uh, yeah, I, and it can like uh, move its uh, direction or increase speed or decrease speed. So yeah, exactly. Exactly. When, when object, object doesn't, doesn't, doesn't move with respect, with respect to time, to time we, consider we consider motion with respect to time. To time. And if object, and if doesn't, object doesn't, doesn't move, change doesn't change its position. Actually, we call it in rest state, 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 state or in stationary state. state. We also call it stationary object. And if object, object move with respect to time, time we call it, it is in uh, motion. Uh, motion. When a when a body or when an object changes, changes its position with respect to time, it is said to be in motion. Uh, in this way, uh, in this way we can have, we can have many examples of rest state, state body and motion state, state body. Like building, like building is, an is an example of rest state, state body. Car is, Car an, is an example of moving, moving object. object. Or an object is in motion. Is an, uh, car, is an car is an example of, of an object is in motion. In motion. Uh, whenever uh, whenever we, consider we consider motion, motion we consider this motion with the relative, with the relative state. state. Okay. okay. Motion, motion has a has relative, a relative state. state. Uh, it is a, a, relative a relative terminology. I said. Okay. Let's okay. Let's consider here. here. Uh, I have uh, some, I have some more. more like, uh, Points, points to, to help, you help you understand. Okay, motion. Okay, motion. An, object an object is said to be in motion, motion if, it changes, if it, changes it changes its position with respect to its surrounding and with time. And with time. Then, uh, then we have, we have different examples. You can just see here, here and uh, write, uh, write it down, down if you want. Uh, moving, uh, moving cars, cars buses, buses, trains, trains cricket balls, etc. Et all the planets, all the, the revolving, planets around revolving around the sun. Molecules of a, molecules gas, of in a gas in motion. Uh, they all uh, are, are said to be in motion. And, and object, object which are in which rest, are, rest are these. Are these these, these mountain, mountain building, building they are they example, are example of, object of object in rest. Okay, I'm okay, showing, I'm showing this, this too uh, to you. You don't worry. Okay. okay. I will share, I will share this, this portion, portion as well. Just you go through this first, first then I will help you with numerical, numerical portion. portion. We will be solving, will be solving, solving many numericals as well. Okay. 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 I think you I must, think be, you must okay. be okay. And, and we'll be able to see, to see everything, everything here. here. Able to see? Able to see? Let there. me know that first. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. I have, yeah, I have written, written some definition for you here. Motion. Motion. An object is said to be in motion if it changes its position, position with respect to its surrounding and with, and with time. time. You can, you can just see different examples that I have presented. Moving cars, buses, trains, ticket balls. All the planets revolving around the sun. You know that. A sun is there at center. We consider, we consider sun, sun to be there at center, center. And, and from there, from there we, consider we consider different, different planets, planets to be moving, to be moving around, around the center. center. 
Do you know the order, you know the order of different? This is a part, this of, is a part of social science, 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 but I think you must be knowing this, knowing this thing. Yes. Yeah, uh, so what, uh, what are, what yeah, what is the order? order? How, many how many planets are there? Are there? Do you know Do that? You know that? Yes, sir. How many are? How many are? How many planets, how many planets are there? Okay, there, okay, is, there Mercury, is Mercury, the first the planet. planet. Then, yes, then, then Venus. Then we have Venus. Then we have Earth. Ma then we have Mars. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and yeah. then we have Jupiter, Saturn, Saturn Neptune, Neptune, and, and uh, Pluto, Pluto is, is not considered. considered. It is, it is dwarf, dwarf planet, planet. But, it's but it's still there is confusion lying between. And also, so uh, there among... are four dwarf planets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. There, there are, are uh, other dwarf, dwarf planets, planets except planet. planet. Uh, except uh, Pluto, sorry. And, uh, and uh, here, here uh, after, after this Mars, Mars there, there is a, is a uh, I, I, I should say there is a, a, layer, a layer in which, in which many, many uh, small, small, yeah, yeah many small, uh, or you should say pieces, pieces of planet lie, and we, and we call it asteroids, asteroids isn't it? Yeah. And, and there is a trick, trick to remember, to remember order. this order. My, My very, very excellent, excellent mother, mother has, has just served us, us just served us, us noodles. noodles. Okay. okay. My, very My very excellent, excellent mother, has mother has just served, served Uranus is also there. Uranus is also there, isn't it? Served yeah. us, yeah. From us, us yeah. From us, we have Uranus. Served us, us noodle. Yeah. Are you just? Yeah. Ask are you just ask my very, very mother, excellent please mother? Just please just served us. us uh, please, uh, please, uh, just, uh, just served us noodle. Please. please. You, can just you can just consider please, please if you want to include this Pluto. Pluto but but uh, nowadays, nowadays we don't consider it as a planet. It is a dwarf planet. But still there is confusion lying among those scientists. About, about this, this, uh, pl uh, this uh, uh, last planet. planet. Earlier, Earlier there, there were nine, nine but nowadays, nowadays we consider eight planets. Eight planets. Okay, okay. Uh, now these, these planets revolve around the sun, and all these planets are in motion. With respect, With respect to sun, to sun we consider them to be in motion. motion. But right, but right now, now we are lying here on planet, planet. we consider ourselves to be in rest state. Okay. Uh, okay. That is, that why, is why we use the concept of relative motion. That is why we use the concept of relative objects or reference objects. Uh, uh, like, 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 like you consider, uh, like, you like you consider an object to be in uh, to, uh, to be in motion. motion. Uh, right. uh, okay. You consider, you consider an example here. I'm showing the example. You don't worry. Let's say, Let's say I'm, consider I'm considering this example. This example. Here, here, if I'm considering an example of uh, just, just an example, an example of, of. Let's say, let's I'm, say I'm considering an example of, of uh, passenger. passenger. If, if passengers, passengers are there, are there sitting, sitting in in the side, side cars, cars they, are they are said to be in rest with respect to each other. To each other. Okay. Okay. They are, they are considered to be rest in with respect to each other, but they are considered they are they are in motion with respect to any person who is outside. Uh, the car, the car and, and they are on, on the road. You will, you will uh, or, or with respect to trees that are here road. on the road. Uh, what, uh, what will you say? say? You will you will say that, that uh, this car, car is moving with respect to the tree. Tree is in rest. That is why you will call this person to be moving with respect to the tree. And that is why I'm saying that motion is our relative terminology as. Uh, P1, uh, P1 is in rest with respect to P2. P2. Here, person 1 is re in rest with respect to P2, P2. and vice versa. But, but P1, P1 is in motion with respect to any third person, P3. And P2, and P2, P2 as well, uh, P2, P2, P2 is in rest state. state. Okay, okay, then, then we, we consider, consider motion, motion object or body travels. travels. Whenever, Whenever they travels, travels, there will be distance and displacement. And, and I have also told you in previous class that whenever object travels, whenever there is motion, uh, we, uh, need we need to understand, understand what are these, are these uh, motion, motion and this, uh, whenever, there whenever there is motion, we come across uh, different, uh, different terminologies. Uh, whenever, whenever there is motion, there will, there will be distance, distance covered, covered there, there will be displacement covered, covered. Later, on, later on there will be some speed, speed there, there will be some velocity, velocity there, will be there will be acceleration. acceleration. These are these different terminologies that we will come across whenever we discuss this motion. Got it? 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, before, uh, before I start, I start with, start with those terminologies, I want you to understand, you to understand what is quantity. Is quantity. There, are there are two types of quantities that we have there in our scenario or in our uh, discussion. discussion. These, These quantities, quantities are physical, physical quantities and non-physical non quantities. quantities. Uh, do you know uh, what are physical quantities? quantities? Yes, sir. Yeah, what they are? Yeah, uh, sir, they are like measurements. Yeah, physical quantities are those that are measurable that you can measure. Any quantity that you can measure, measure. is, is your, your physical, physical quantity. quantity. That means you, means you have some instrument by using, by using which you can measure, measure them. Is your, is your Physical, physical quantity, quantity. And, and something, something that you can't, that you can't measure, measure is your, is your non-physical non quantity like your, like your emotions, emotions love, love sorrow happiness they all are non-physical but, but speedometer, speedometer odometer ammeter weight electronic, electronic devices that you, that you use to measure, to measure weight, weight they all are measurable and that is why you call them in this category, this category that is your, your physical, physical quantity Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Uh, now, uh, now I want you to uh, explain, uh, explain uh, different, different physical, physical, physical quantities that you, that you know. Can you tell, can you tell me what are different physical quantities, quantities that you know? And what, and what do you understand by, by these physical quantities? Thank you. Please explain. Yes, sir. Um, Okay, so let's see. Um. Okay, so so um. Yes, sir, so there are. Uh, Sanket. Uh, Sanket. I want. I want from your side. Oh yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. So basically, there is um, there is length, mass, time, uh, temperature, um, force, um.
Okay, uh... Okay, all right. Uh, Sanket. Okay, Sanket, I'm audible now. I think there was some technical issue. Okay, all right, we will resolve it. Okay, see here. Please first confirm, then we can start with this. Uh, continue with the next topic. Uh, Sanket, everything is okay. Okay. Uh, then we have only magnitude and no direction for a scalar, and both magnitude and direction for vector. Distance and displacement, there are two basic quantities that we are considering here. Distance is Before uh, there is also a point between B and C that is E and ultimately you moved up to D and also came back up to E and in this way what is distance and displacement cover? Figure out this. Yeah, so so I think the question again. Yeah, you can see the question. Uh, I mean, A B plus B C plus uh, C D plus uh, uh, D A. So that means five plus twelve plus five plus twelve. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, so, so five plus twelve plus five plus twelve. So uh, that equals to um, twelve twenty four. Yeah. So so that is uh, thirty four over there. Yes, so the total distance is 34 and then the displacement sir, so basically um, uh, so um, it will be um, uh, a, a, a D because um, yes, sir, so the total distance would be um, 12, 12 kilometers. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, now tell me. Uh, 
uh, you you got distance being 34 we are we need to add all of them uh, this is uh, if you are moving from a to b b to c c to d and coming back to a then you will consider distance to be 34 and displacement to be 0 isn't it yeah. similarly you can solve this third one the same quite similar question and uh, once uh, in previous class as well you understood some other concepts from this chapter if you remember uh, we have covered other things like uh, i'm just showing here after this we considered reference point or in reference point you can just see here uh, on your screen you can just figure out that this is your relative position relative consideration how can you relatively consider this uh, see here uh, here you have a tree and you are considering the motion of car and when you consider this car to be moving uh, this car to be moving uh, and uh, you figure out tree as your reference point then only you can say car to be moving otherwise uh, with whose reference you are saying that car is moving and that is the reason we need to consider a reference is it clear yeah then we have uh, motion distance displacement and you can just uh, differentiate distance and displacement with some points like you can see here distance is a scalar quantity displacement is vector quantity distance traveled by moving body can not be zero distance can't be zero but displacement can be zero as well this is also important thing that you need to remember that distance can't be zero but displacement can be zero too. and then scalar and vector we have already covered scalar has only magnitude vector has uh, magnitude and direction both then we have uh, uniform and non-uniform motion i want you to go through this once uh, uniform and non-uniform motion uh, what they are uniform motion that means equal distance in equal interval of time equal distance in equal interval of time if you are considering you will call this what will you call this uniform motion okay is it clear what is uniform motion when you are considering the motion of body in such a way that it travels equal distance in equal interval of time suppose you are considering a motion like this i am changing the color you, know. you are considering a motion straight line motion uh, that is known as rectilinear motion <laughs> in 5 minute it is traveling 5 meter uh, then again in 5 minute it will travel 5 meter <coughs> sorry again in 5 minute it will travel 5 meter if in equal interval it is traveling equal distance it is uniform and if you are considering the same time interval of 5 minute but you are observing that distance travel is different initially it was 3 kilometer that or 3 meter that it traveled then maybe 5 meter then maybe 9 meter then maybe 15 meter time interval is same but distance travel is different you can just go through this definition if a body travels equal distance in equal interval of time it is said to be uniform if body travels unequal distance in equal interval of time it is said to be non uniform then we have a speed distance traveled by the body in unit time rate of change of speed uh, distance is the speed and rate of change of displacement is velocity then we have uh, si unit meter per second is the si unit that we have and uh, it is a scalar quantity i have already told that average speed is total distance traveled over total time if you consider total distance over total time you call it average speed then we have a speed with direction it is known as velocity velocity is a vector quantity it is a speed with direction Average velocity is again going to be total displacement over total time and average velocity is equal to u plus v over 2. It is very interesting thing if you are given with initial and final velocity respectively. You just need to take average of them to figure out average velocity. Then I have presented a summary of entire things that we have discussed so far. Distance, actual path or total path. Kilometer per hour to meter per second you need to multiply 5 over 18 and if you are doing the a meter per second 2 kilometer per hour multiply by 18 over 5 i have just explained this conversion as well kilometer per hour to meter per second 5 by 18 meter per second 2 kilometer per hour 18 by 5 this multiplication is done 
ओके यू कैन सी एन एग्जाम्पल लेट से यू आर गिवन विथ सेवेंटी टू किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इन टू मीटर पर सेकेंड वट विल यू डू टेल मी संकेत हाउ विल यू कन्वर्ट सेवेंटी टू किलोमीटर पर आवर इन टू मीटर पर सेकेंड एक्चुअली दैन यू टेल मी दिस meter per second yeah first we will consider kilometer here in numerator hour there in denominator we will just uh, remember the concept there is millimeter then we have centimeter then we have decimeter then we have uh, millimeter centimeter decimeter meter then we have decameter then we have uh, hectometer and at last we have kilometer this is the order of units Uh, smaller to the higher one and the kilometer is here and uh, you want to convert this kilometer into meter meter is here one two three points upward that means you need to consider thousand one kilometer is actually thousand meter then one hour has 60 uh, minute and one minute has 60 second and in this way whatever you get is 5 over 18 that is why we directly multiply it by 5 over 18 and that is coming out to be 20 meter per second that is the trick that i have shown here kilometer per hour 2 meter per second you multiply 5 by 18 and if you want to convert meter per second to kilometer per hour multiply by 18 by 5 uh, it is trick that has been obtained from the real calculation okay can you similarly convert 15 meter per second into kilometer per hour what will you do 15 meter per second to kilometer per hour what will you do tell me that you will multiply by 18 over 5 isn't it that is coming out to be how much 54 km per hour and uh, that is why i want you to understand this conversion in much detail first okay uh, whenever we consider uh, this chapter motion the things that are there in our radar must be the distance then must be the displacement that we should be very much aware with very much acquainted with then we have a speed then we must be okay with velocity then we have average speed and then we have average velocity and we also have one more thing that you can go along it is acceleration these are different things these are different parameters we must understand before we start with this uh, motion and their numerical okay now i want you to just explain in uh, just to explain it briefly tell me what is distance tell me what is displacement exactly this is the definition of distance total path you just need to figure out what is the total path in displacement you just need to figure out what is the shortest path what is the unit of both of them this is meter the si unit what is their uh, physical quantity has uh, which type of physical quantity it is whether it is scalar or vector distance is which kind of quantity yeah exactly distance is a scalar what about displacement its vector all right very good we are just going to revise all these things in very short duration tell me what is the speed yes you go there
okay <clears throat> i want you all guys to make note of this entire page because in this entire page i have presented all the formula at the same time Okay, uh, this entire page I'm going to explain uh, all these things. The distance is simply the total path. Displacement is the shortest path. The speed is simply distance over time. Velocity is displacement over time. They both have unit meter per second. Even average speed has unit meter per second. Average velocity too has the same unit meter per second. Velocity is displacement over time. Average speed is total distance over total time. And one more scenario I have presented here. Let's say you move from A to B, which is S meter away. Again, you move from B to C, which is again S meter away. Maybe anything S, maybe anything. Let's say you consider X if you don't want to consider S. But you are traveling first S meter by V1 velocity another s meter by v2 velocity then the average velocity or average speed is said to be twice v1 v2 over v1 plus v2 remember this formula as well and average velocity when you are given with initial and final velocity let's say an object start moving with velocity u and finally gain velocity v and if it gains in t time then you have two parameters that you will get the first one is average velocity which is u plus v over 2 and second parameter is acceleration which is simply change in velocity with respect to time and that is why you will consider it v minus u over t and simply it is velocity over time that is acceleration that is why unit here is meter per second square is it clear to you now okay all these are different definitions that we use here in this chapter क्लास चल रही थी अभी मैं आज पंद्रह मिनट से आ रहा हूँ ओके बेस्ड ऑन ऑल दिस डेफिनेशंस यू कंसीडर दिस वन एस एट पॉइंट ऑल दिस डिफरेंट एट पॉइंट्स दैट आई प्रेजेंटेड हियर we can solve all problems many problems rather uh, related to motion and uh, speed distance time we can go through many problems based on speed distance and time if we remember these eight points Okay, I'm presenting a few more questions. First, I want you to understand some questions based on conversion. Conversion that means you remember two more points, ninth point, uh, rather ninth point I'm presenting, which is based on conversion. By using this, you can convert. Okay, let's say you want to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second what will you do you will multiply it by 5 over 18 and similarly let's say you want to convert something uh, in meter per second it is uh, the speed conversion you want to convert it into kilometer per hour what will you do to do that you will just multiply by 18 over 15 and how why we do so i have already told you 
because the kilometer can be converted into meter by multiplying thousand and similarly hour can be converted into second by multiplying three six double zero and while we are converting it we have to divide both and we will get five over eighteen as our uh, multiplying factor. Uh, in this way you need to remember this multiplying factor while you are converting. Okay, we uh, I am going to start with the our session today with this conversion. How to convert and why to convert. You can just understand how to convert. Okay, let's consider few more questions based on this conversion. Let's say I'm having a value that is uh, 36 kilometer per hour. Obviously, it is a speed. If I have not indicated direction, it is a speed. I want you to convert this speed into meter per second. Sanket, are you able to listen? Uh, are you getting everything? Let me know this. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, so far, I have just helped you with this portion. I want you to take the screenshot of this entire uh, page because in this entire page I have presented everything in much detail. I have just presented everything in much detail. You can just observe. I have considered the definition of distance, displacement in very short form. I have presented everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm just arranging it in that way that you can take that thing that you don't want. One you took you took in that okay. Okay all right. These are uh, different parameters that you see here. Uh, these are total uh, distance, total path, displacement, shortest path speed distance over time velocity displacement over time and then we have uh, average speed that is total distance over total time and one more factor about average speed that i have told you here if you are given with the same distance that you travel with different speed then you use formula twice v1 over twice v1 times v2 plus v1 uh, over v1 plus v2 then this formula is also important then we have uh, average velocity if you are given with initial velocity u that you start with and you travel finally with velocity v in time duration t then you have two parameters one is average velocity which is simply average of both u plus v over 2 and acceleration is also a parameter that you get when you consider such a change uh, this is known as uh, acceleration which is rate of change of velocity that is v minus u over t okay and then last point that i have presented here is conversion and uh, using this you can convert your speed in kilometer per hour to that meter per second and vice versa you can convert meter per second into kilometer per hour as well Okay, all right. Now we have another thing about uh, conversion. I'm going to present some question based on conversion and further based on speed and distance displacement as well. First, you convert this 36 kilometer per hour the speed into meter per second. Convert it into meter per second. Meter per second. Can you do this? Tell me the answer please. I am giving you enough time to answer it. Sanket, you can use this white board if you want. It is good if you use this white board.
Yeah. Uh, do you want to use this whiteboard? You can use. Yeah, yeah, I'll, that's good. Fine. Uh, you want to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second. What we do when we want to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second, we actually multiply by 5 over 18, isn't it? That means we simply need to consider this and multiply it with 5 over 18. And we all know that 18 times 2 is 36. That's why we can uh, consider, we can now conclude that 36 kilometer per hour is simply 10 meter per second. Okay, the next question that I, yeah, you got the answer. Yeah, now the second question that I want you to appear here is, uh, can you tell me how many kilometer per hour are there in 30 meter per second? That means you convert 30 meter per second into kilometer per to this. Okay, have you got the answer? What is your answer? Tell me that. You got... Okay, you got 108, isn't it? Okay, have you solved this? Uh, you must have solved it like this. Uh, because you know now that uh, you can multiply it with 18 over 5. And that is why you must have done this. And here you can just write 5 times 6 is 30. And 18 times 6 is 108. And it simply means 30 meter per second is equivalent to 108 kilometer per hour. Okay. Or uh, can you do such conversion in the same manner? Alright. Yeah. Yeah, very good. That's fine. Okay. Uh, many other questions are here that I'm presenting in front of you here. Okay. Uh, these are, I think, very easy for you. If I want you to figure out total distance and displacement here for this question, you can tell me the answer in very, uh, very short duration. Because let's say this person is, this boy is John, and this John is traveling from this position, let's say position A, and he travel a to b 3 meter then b to c 5 meter then c to this d 3 meter and uh, finally d to a again 5 meter what is total distance can you tell me total distance and can you tell me total displacement yeah exactly yeah because because it is simply a rectangle you can use a formula of rectangle 2 times length plus width which is perimeter and here 2 times length is 5 breadth is 3 that is 16 meter or you can simply add all up there and displacement 0 meter very good you are correct displacement is 0 meter okay why very fine okay now tell me answer to next question here in front of you just keep telling answer to all of them it's also going to be we are going to use uh, formula that is known as uh, Pythagoras theorem in some of the questions uh, they all are easy here we have used Pythagoras theorem. Okay, let's see. Person is moving from A to B, 1.5 meter. Then moving from B to C, 2 meter. Then C to D, 4.5 meter. If someone asks distance, what is the answer? It is so easy that we need to add all of them. 1.5, 2 and 4.5. 
that is coming out to be 8 meter total distance. Now if someone asks what is displacement then what will you do? You need to figure out the shortest part. Yeah, shortest part A to D. No, no, you, 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 no, no, you need to consider a right angle triangle here in which you will get 4.5, 1.5 that is coming out to be that is coming out to be 6 isn't it and here you have uh, uh, this 2 meter this is 2 and this is 6 you need to use the Pythagoras theorem but what is it it is simply it is simply uh, leg 1 is square leg 2 is square is equal to the longest leg is square this is the longest leg AP is 2 here PD is 6 here and longest leg we actually want that and it is 4 it is 36 we need to take a square root so that we will get AD rather than AD square that is 40 40 is nothing but uh, root 40 is actually going to be our answer you got you got this this is your displacement actually the shortest part you are traveling like this A to D like this you are uh, able to see on the screen and this is root 40 and then I have presented some of the important question, theoretical type question, like here you can see, uh, let's say an object has moved through a distance, can it have zero displacement? This is the question, can it have zero displacement? Tell me that. Uh, the question is, uh, an object has moved through a distance, can it have zero displacement? Yes, it can have if it is forming a closed path, isn't it? Then, if, uh, then this is also easy one. Then uh, we have question like velocity and speed, you can just uh, uh, create difference among them. Uh, distance uh, speed and uh, velocity and speed velocity displacement over time speed distance over time velocity can be negative speed can't hold negative value uh, velocity has a direction but a speed has no specific direction all these are differences then we have the odometer is a device that we use to measure distance to the automobiles then we have the speed uh, total distance uh, okay there is a question very interesting question here in which we are considering uh, interesting thing you know the formula speed is actually equal to distance over time that we have uh, understood a lot now we are clear with this formula are you clear with this yeah speed is actually equal to distance over time now the question is during an experiment a signal from a space uh, a spaceship reached the ground station in five minutes how much time does it take to reach the ground we are given with the time being 5 uh, seconds, uh, sorry, 5 minutes and you can convert it into the psi form that is second which is coming out to be 300 seconds. I have done the conversion here as well. Then speed of velocity, uh, speed or velocity of the light, do you know that? It's simply 3 lakh kilometer per second that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Now you are known with the speed and time and from here itself you can figure out the formula distance is simply the product of his speed and time isn't it you are given with the speed being 3 into 10 to the power 8 in si meter per second and time is given to be 300 second it is also in si form and that is why we will get the answer 9 times 10 to the power 10 meter per second meter only this is your answer is it clear to you in this way we can use the formula the speed is equal to distance over time Is it okay for you? You got the question? What was the question? Yeah, it was simply uh, about a spaceship reached the ground station uh, in 5 minutes. What was the distance travelled by a spaceship from the ground station? The signal travels with the speed of light it was. It was about the signal 
path that reaches from the spaceship to the ground and the speed of signal is equal to that of the light speed of light then uh, these are some questions that i want you to write down and convert into a place convert into meter per second 54 km per hour and 72 km per hour some of uh, the question has been answered but i want you to write their uh, value and convert it to a place convert 20 meter per second and 40 meter per second as well then this question i want you to take a screenshot and solve it to a place a car travels a distance of 200 km from Delhi to Ambala. I have shown you from Delhi to Ambala. The distance is given to you and time being 5 hours is given to you. First you convert them into SI if you want or you can answer, leave your answer in km per hour. If you want a speed, it is simply distance over time that I have uh, presented. Velocity, the same velocity you will get here. Uh, speed and velocity both are same here because distance and displacement are same here. Now if you want to convert them in meter per second, you need to multiply by 5 by 18. And similarly, uh, you got velocity, same velocity for this question. This is also a question, you will get your answer in the same manner. You just take a screenshot and try it your place. Have you taken? Right, uh, that's fine. Okay, the same, uh, the same kind of problem is here. 30 km at uniform speed of 40 km per hour. And next 30 km at a uniform speed of 20. I have already told you that if you are traveling same distance with different speeds, or uh, with different speeds you are traveling same distance. The 40 km per hour is the first speed and again 30 km but traveled using the another speed of 20 km per hour. I have already told you if you are given with such condition, the average velocity is so simple, it is twice V1 into v2 over v1 plus v2 so easy to solve so easy to answer but do remember this formula it's going to be so easy 2 3 is a 6 you got 80 over 3 as your answer 80 over 3 kilometer per hour is going to be your average speed okay it has been it has been derived from the same statement total distance over total time but it is the derivation that help you to answer uh, quickly that is going to be a trick that you need to remember but you, you can apply it when you are given with two different velocities traveling the same distance got it then only you use here as well on 120 kilometer track a train travels the first 30 kilometer with the speed of 30 kilometer per hour and uh, another 90 kilometer with which speed he should travel so that the average speed become uh, speed average or velocity average becomes 60 km per hour. Okay, uh, we th the condition that we apply here is total distance upon total time. 60 km per hour need to be equated with total distance over total time. You take the screenshot and solve it your place and uh, tell me answer next class. I have just given you the hint proper hint that you can apply. Okay, uh, I am ending the session uh, in 2 minutes. Some of the questions are there that I want you to take a screenshot. Okay, have you taken a screenshot of this? Yeah, okay, alright. Take the screenshot of next page as well. Yeah, here. You can find out the average speed, average velocity. And in similar manner, take the screenshot of this. You can answer this as well. The same kind of question is here. You can answer this as well. The same kind of question. Calculate the average speed. And this question is also based on the same concept. You can just solve this and then we will start rate of change of velocity that is acceleration in next class i will just help you with this and distance time graph and uh, those equation of motion that is there are three equations of motion v is equal to u plus at the first equation of motion that can be derived from this change in velocity concept then we have second equation of motion s is equal to ut plus half at square and we have the third equation of motion that is b square minus u square is equal to 2s I will help with that in 